So the Incredible Hulk was effectively killed in the Avengers Endgame. And that's that's the end of the Hulk, and I hope we never see him again, because that that wasn't the Hulk that we all know and love. Um it was that was a complete abomination of the of the character. Now we gotta go back to the beginning, two thousand and eight. At least the MCU version of the Hulk. Um, very underrated film in my opinion. I thought it did a good job representing who the Hulk is, who Banner is. Um, I thought uh, Abomination was a good villain. Uh, General Ross was in the movie, Betty, as well. We got the Savage Hulk. He was just an, you know, just an ass kicker in that movie. They set up uh, Doc Samson in the movie as well. And they set up uh, the leader also. Hulk was who he was. You know, he just, uh, he was the savage Hulk, man. He was just kicking ass all over the place. And he said Hulk smash, you know, which brought out the fanboy in all of us. So Edward Norton after that had some problems with the studio on financial or creative differences. It's, it's a long story. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to get into that. But he was replaced by Mark Ruffalo. Who I wasn't crazy about, but I thought he did a serviceable job in the Avengers. And I remember when that movie came out, everybody said the Hulk absolutely stole the show. So for Hulk fans, that gave us a lot of hope going forward that they would do the character justice. But boy, were we wrong. So let's go to Avengers Part 2, The Age of Ultron. And that was the beginning of the end. They gave Banner this love story that felt very very awkward with the black widow it just felt out of place it it just it did not feel right and i was thinking to myself i'm like okay what the hell happened to betty you know it was almost like they they pretended that none of that stuff happened in the incredible hulk for the most part and it just that that was the beginning of the end you had him fight Iron Man with the Hulk Buster armor and Iron Man beat him, which should never happen under any circumstance. But, you know, we were kind of forgiving because you know, a lot of us said, hey, you know what? He was under that whole mind control because of Wanda. And so Hulk wasn't really yet. He wasn't full strength Hulk, right? We, we excuse that. At the end of the movie, he gets on the Quinjet and he gets the hell out of there. You know, he didn't really do much in that movie in, in terms of really kicking ass. You know, but, you know, we're like, okay, whatever. So now he pops up in Ragnarok. And a lot of people had problems with the Ragnarok version of the Hulk. I personally didn't. You know, I, I like the fact that he was, you know, he was talking now and everything. Um, You know, he did he did kick some ass. Okay, Thor beat him. But, you know, we, again, we make excuses because Thor used the Odin Force, you know, or what we thought it to be the Th- Odin Force and with the lightning and everything. And that's how he beat him. So, but, Hulk, you know, Hulk was kind of funny, and people were upset about that. Oh, you know, Hulk shouldn't be humorous, but I, I thought like, the humor was okay, because, you know, Hulk was big and stupid or whatever. And I didn't think it was a huge deal. I didn't see what was, you know, what was to come. So, at the end of the movie, all he did really was he fought that giant wolf or whatever, which was kind of cool, but, you know, I, I wanted more. I wanted to see him kick, kick some more ass. You know, he was ready to fight Surtur, and then, you know, Thor told him to stand down, you know. Or, you know, whatever. So now, let's go to Avengers Infinity War. Now, he charges Thanos, he gets a few hits in, and then he gets his ass handed to him. Now, that shouldn't have happened either. Uh, Thanos didn't even have the, the, the Power Stone on, and he kicked the Thor's ass. But, we excused it, because we said, oh, well, you know, they just, they just want to show us how big of a threat Thanos is. That's why Hulk got his ass whipped very easily. And, and, you know, and Thanos was very tactical in the way that he fought him and the thought, and Hulk was just, you know, like a savage. You know, he, he didn't have any, you know, skill to what he was doing. He was just trying to overpower him, and he got fucked up. Okay, fine. Granted. Now, this is where it goes completely downhill, because now he's, our, you know, he's got this struggle between him and Banner, and he doesn't want to come out and help during that whole that whole battle in New York, and it didn't seem right with me, because Hulk is always itching to fight, now, they turned around and said, the producers, they said, oh, well, you know, he just doesn't want, he's tired of saving Banner's ass, but I wasn't really buying it, because 
Hulk always wants to fight. And then in Wakanda, you know, the Banner's fighting in the, the Hulkbuster armor. He's getting his ass whipped. And the Hulk would have came out just for the simple fact that if Banner dies, the Hulk dies. So even if he didn't really want to, he was tired, you know, he didn't want to save Banner. He was tired of helping Banner. He's going to come out merely for self-preservation. Now, Banner sees Thanos. If that was the Hulk, the Hulk would have came out. He would have came out not to save Banner, because, but because he wants a rematch. He wants to whip Thanos ass. He didn't come out, even under those circumstances. All right. So the Hulk was an absolute embarrassment in the Infinity War. But again, we excuse it because we're thinking, oh, well, Hulk's going to redeem himself. You know, he's going to kick Thanos ass in the next one. Okay. That didn't happen. So let's go to the end game. Now we fast forward and he's Professor Hulk. But he's actually not Professor Hulk. He's just Banner, big and green. That's it. And he's taking selfies, and they play it up for comic relief. And it was kind of funny, but then it was like, okay, this is kind of stupid. And the, the joke got real old quick, just like what happened with Thor. But th- that's a whole other story. So you're thinking at the end of the movie, okay, he's going to come out, right? You know, the Savage Hulk is going to turn on, you know, or Hulk's going to whip his ass, whip ass. You know, so he used the gauntlet, and he snapped his fingers. And, okay, he brought everybody back, okay, and his arm almost got burned off, which I was a little confused about. I was like, okay, I understand it's going to, you know, it took a lot out of him, but Hulk has a healing factor. Professor Hulk or not, he has a healing factor, and his arm should have healed. Okay, fine. So you're thinking, okay, you know what? Here's the big battle. It's the original Avengers. You know, you had Thor. You had Captain America, Iron Man. They're walking up to Thanos. You know, Thor's going to come walk with them. I mean, not not Thor, excuse me. Hulk is going to show up. He's going to kick ass doesn't happen then later on in the battle all the avengers show up you're thinking okay this is it this is hulk's time to shine he's gonna come out he's gonna kick ass no you see him running and i think he throws somebody never fights thanos never has a rematch with thanos but they made sure that captain marvel that captain marvel got her licks in you know again that's a whole other story and i'll make a video on you know where i think you know, the MCU is going, and it's actually straight down the toilet. But, so we got cheated. At the end of the day, Hulk didn't redeem himself. There was no Hulk smash. There was no, you know, uh, you know, the Hulk just kicking Thanos' ass, or at least giving him, you know, a few punches, you know, because he owed him one. But no, we didn't even get any of that. We got none of that. None of that. The Hulk didn't do a goddamn thing in the end game. He did nothing. And again, that was not the Hulk. That was just Banner, big and green. They totally ruined the Hulk, totally destroyed him, and I believe it was on purpose. Uh, I have my theories on, you know, as to why that happened. I'll cover that in another video because it also ties into Thor. But it was an absolute joke, and the, for any fan of the Hulk, you know, it was like, what, what, what is this? What is this? You know, it was a complete, you know, a slap in the face to the character, and also a slap in the face to the fans, the comic book fans. You know, the, the MCU day one fans, not the guys that just jumped on board because of, uh, you know, the last couple movies they got interested in. I'm talking about the real core fans that love these characters. They love the Hulk. They love what he represents. And they just, they basically spit in our faces and they completely, completely destroyed the character. And I, for one, that was my only real problem with Endgame. That was my main, main, main problem is that, you know, with all the fan service that they did, they made sure not to give any sort of fan service with the Incredible Hulk. And they made sure that he didn't go out there and he didn't kick any ass at all. And as a fan of the comics, as a fan of the MCU, I had a big problem with it. And I really hope that we never, ever see this incarnation of the Hulk again because, you know, th- this was absolute garbage. The Hulk was, a, for lack of a better wo- word, he was a fucking pussy. He pussied out, he didn't want any part of Thanos, and that's not true to the character of the Hulk and what he is. I want to say, too, that uh, I don't have an issue with that character of the Hulk evolving throughout the movies as he has evolved throughout the comics. Although I do think that the Savage Hulk is the definitive version of the Hulk, and that's the Hulk that everybody really wants to see, is that Savage Hulk. You know, the, I was a huge fan of the Bill Bixby Incredible Hulk series. You know, and um, that that'll always be my Hulk. You know, and that's why I, I like that they paid homage homage to um, 
the Bill Bixby series in that 2008 version of the Hulk. And I didn't mind the Hulk, you know, he would, that he was starting to talk. And I didn't even mind that, that they went in the, you know, quote unquote, Professor Hulk direction. I didn't have a huge problem with that. The, the problem is, is that even that Professor Hulk version is an ass kicker. You know, he's just smart, but he's still extremely strong and he still kicks ass. He's not a passive, like, fucking bitch that they made him out to be. You know, that was my, my huge issue with, with this version of the Hulk is that it wasn't, you, they didn't give us the Hulk. They gave us Bruce Banner and a bitch Bruce Banner. A bitch Bruce Banner at that. That was just big and green. That was it. Wasn't the Hulk. The Bruce Banner, big and green, and he was a bitch. He didn't want to fight. He didn't want to do anything. You would have even thought that the fact that Black Widow got killed, that that would have brought out the Savage Hulk. You know, or even when he, when he had the gems and he, he um, you know, because he said that there was, uh, they were somehow Gamma. I thought that he's going to get an overexposure of Gamma and that's going to bring back the Savage Hulk. Nope. We got nothing. Nothing.